All right, guys. Uh, so yeah, it's a bit of a relaxing day for me today. Uh, it's a Sunday. Don't have much work on, and uh, last night I properly crashed. Um, yeah, I was just watching uh, stuff on like YouTube on my laptop, and I just like just like turned off and um, woke up. Computer still playing, stuff like that. So I'm so that's the sign that I'm I'm done. <laughs> so I'm just trying to have a relaxing day. Just um, walking to Uena Park now. Uh, I think I walk past a Don Quixote. Uh, I think it's Okachi Machi Don Quixote, and then um, might get some drinks and stuff like that to have a pretty chill time and maybe film some of the wildlife you sometimes see in the park the very little wildlife you'll find in Tokyo so yeah this Don Quixote is a lot smaller than Akihabara um, it's like really narrow it's got lots of floors this is uh, the basement so it's really cool down here just kind of want to live down here and, um, yeah it's, it's nice but very narrow. Would not like to be in here when it's busy. Seeing if they've got any decent like, ice creams or anything. I think it's like a frozen food section. Um, no, nothing I like. Yeah, I've got um, Aquarius like sports water, Big Coke Zero, and um, Cafe Le milk tea, coffee. Worried milk might be a bad idea. So yeah, Don Quixote, you I know, has this massive moray eel tank. Look at this thing. It's pretty still, but it is alive. Look at its teeth. I think there's another one in there as well. Or it's the same one, just really long. Oh no, it's got a head. Cool that is. God, it's creepy, man. Crazy, crazy stuff. Hey guys, so yeah, this is Ueno Park, the rest of it. And um, yeah, behind me is uh, Bentendo Shrine over there in the distance. We'll get a better look in a second. And uh, yeah, all of this is lily pads. And uh, down below here, it's all water. Really deep water as well. So yeah, that is so cool. It's all just lily pads never seen anything like this in England. I love coming here. Um, if you come here earlier in the year, um, all the uh, lily pads have all sort of shrunk down and uh, they kind of just sit on top of the water. But um, around this season, uh, they're, they're huge, absolutely huge. So yeah, we're gonna have uh, just a little walk around. Uh, I remember back in the uh, day, Pokemon Go days, um, I came here a lot and uh, it was a huge Magikarp spawn and uh, Dratini spawn and um, managed to catch whole Gyarados here and stuff like that so it's a really good location for it um, and I managed to get my uh, Dragonair here and stuff like that so it was a really good Pokemon Go spot I miss that, I miss those days it's good days, good days, right so yeah um, just chat God, those cicadas are noisy man um, so yeah uh, I hope you like the uh, question time at the end of the video I'm um, thankful that a lot of you guys ask questions and uh, it's actually quite a long little uh, piece of the video so that's good um, really nice let me know if it was cool uh, engaging because um, I thought it was cool I thought it was cool right just looking around God, it's hot. Yeah, uh, today, today I'm just trying to rest. I'm just trying to uh, soak in a bit of the sun. It's a completely cloudless day. Uh, as this is what summer's supposed to be like. We don't really get a lot of summery days like this in England. So yeah, I'm just enjoying it. Not gonna be doing a huge amount today. Um, just gonna be sitting here for a few hours, getting some drinks in, doing some filming. Turn it around and have a look around. You don't, don't always have to see my ugly mug. Goodness. Love to want and own one of those apartments in the background there. Absolutely gorgeous looking over this place. Look at this guy, this is cool.
Sounds cool, man. Okay, yeah, we're just uh, making our way over to the shrine. Give you a closer look at that. It's a nice park area over there. Yeah, look at those apartments. Christ, imagine owning one of those. Imagine owning one of those. So nice. So yeah, um, the uh, Bentendo Shrine. Bentendo always, uh, the name always reminds me of like a cross between uh, Ben 10 and Nintendo. That's how I like to remember it. I think of uh, N64 and, and Ben 10. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's an absolutely beautiful place. Um, at, at later hours, when it gets a bit darker, um, bats come out. Uh, there's lots of mosquitoes that come out, but bats come out to eat all the mosquitoes. And you can just uh, hear them um, clicking and going nuts in the air. And they just, uh, they just sit on the walls, they sit on the trees, and just scoop mosquitoes out of the sky. It's crazy. So, yeah, look getting close to the shrine now oh yeah over here they have like this um, little market stall area um, sort of like a uh, what are those those like bond festival sort of things Matsuri uh, festivals sort of area but this is like permanently out here and um, if I remember correctly they've got like shave ice and um, like uh, octopus balls and stuff like that and other food so we'll check it out we'll check it out but yeah might be able to see some wildlife as well I won't see any bats unfortunately because it's too bright they'll melt coming up to it now yeah look it's uh it's just a chill little market area. Food and drink and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, look. Shaved ice. Corn. God, it smells amazing. Wish you could smell this. <laughs> it smells so, so good. these cop. That's so cool. Try to get a closer look. Very cool. See, magic cop, I told you. <coughs> See if there's any more over here. Yeah, there is. Look, we're going in the corner. Must be very enjoyable for them. The shade of those lily pads. Oh, it smells so good here. I wish you could smell it. Oh, it just smells like barbecue. So yeah, this is the shrine. It's a little puffer fish statue. That's the shrine, it's a bit busy, so I don't think I'm actually gonna go in. Look at this incense. Smells amazing here. Tons of prayer plates. <laughs> I think there's some more fish over here. Some of the squiz. 
<laughs> oh wow. Oh, look at the little turtles. The turtles. Just like wild turtles. That is so cool. Told you we'd see some uh, some wildlife. Uh, those are really cute. Little uh, Magikarp and Squirtle. <laughs> very very cute. Very cute. Look over here. All these swan boats and stuff. You know, for uh, romantic couples or um, romantic loners. Whatever one you are. Those apartments. I'm more interested about those apartments. I have to have one of those. It's cost an arm and a leg. So yeah, guys. Let me know if you'd come to Ueno Park. Um, it's really chill. Really, really chill. There's tons of birds over here. Look at this. Oh my god. That's crazy. Look at this. Oh my god. See how close you can get to these things. This is insane. Insane. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so cool. Let's see how close you can get the camera. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, that was crazy at the end, all those birds. Uh, I met a Japanese couple there, and um, you might have heard them in the background. Uh, and apparently they go there every weekend, they live in the area and they feed the birds like that and uh, they sort of know to come there at that time uh, to get fed, which is really, really awesome. Uh, so really thankful I ran into them. All right, question time. Um, Kintaro Oe says, uh, is it possible to survive only with snacks and almond milk tea in Japan? Uh, we'll see. I know it looks really bad that that's all I've been eating, but I've been on a massive diet in the UK for like the last month, two months, and uh, I, I'm like Augustus Gloop when I come uh, come to Japan. I just want to you know eat everything, but I expect myself getting a real bad sugar crash uh, any day now, so uh, that will eventually stop. Iron Two Thousand says maybe go to Diver City to see the near finished full sized Gundam unicorn and visit Gundam Base. Right, yeah, the Gundam Unicorn. Uh, I already did a video of the older older Gundam that was that's been torn down now. Uh, this Gundam Unicorn should be finished on the twenty fourth, I believe. So I'll make sure to get there, and I'll try and do a bit of filming during daylight and at night because I know it does a massive light show. And uh, you can see all the details during the day, but then at night it's got all the lights. And uh, Gundam Cafe will also try and visit as well. So yeah, thanks for your comment. Pieta asks, are you planning Planning to go to Harajuku on your trip? Yes, uh, I will go there very soon. Uh, I'm not a big fashion mad uh, Harajuku girl, but um, yeah, there's lots of other cool stuff there. There's uh, Kiddie Land, which is this awesome like toy and collectible shop there. There's some amazing sushi bars there, and uh, I'll also do the walk down that uh, that uh, street that has all the fashion shops on. So yeah, thanks for your comments. Francesca asks, um, hey, I want to visit Japan myself, but I can't read or speak it. Uh, but is it difficult to get or do things there if you don't know the language? Right, so I've been going to Japan for a very long time, ever since I was 15. And uh, obviously back then I could not speak a lick of Japanese and I managed just fine. Now it's coming up to 2020, uh, Olympics is uh, Olympics just around the corner everything is in English. So all the uh, station signs for trains are in English, uh, sometimes Korean, Chinese and obviously Japanese. Uh, a lot of people speak English, the information desk speak English. 
and also in convenience stores and food shops and stuff like that, you literally just need to grab something and give it to the person behind the till. Uh, they'll ring it up, it'll say how much it is, and you just give them the money. Uh, you don't even need to speak to them. Probably just learn like Arigato uh, when you're on your way out, and uh, that's all you need to know. So yeah, it's pretty easy to get around Tokyo anyway. I don't know the rest of Japan, but Tokyo anyway, uh, without speaking any Japanese. Mumu Gong asks, are you planning to go to AKB48 Cafe and Square Enix Cafe? Um, AKB48, maybe not. I'm not a big AKB fan, but Square Enix Cafe, definitely. Uh, it's nice and local. It's in Akihabara, but I've not been before. It's underneath, um, what's underneath? The Yodabashi Camera, which is right below the station. So like literally 10 minutes away from me. So yeah, I'll try and do that. Maybe tomorrow, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, thanks for your comment. Nihonshi Shiba asks, uh, what does your girlfriend look like and will she be in a video? Uh, okay, so uh, we're just dating. It's not serious relationship stuff, uh, mainly because of long distance. Um, but yeah, I'll flash up a picture of us now. That's us. And um, yeah, uh, I don't think she'll be in a video. She's quite shy and uh, it's early days relationship-wise, so I don't want to scare her off by uh, shoving a camera in her face. Maybe one day, I don't know, I'll see how things go. Anime Crazy 24 says, go to J World and One Piece Tokyo Tower. Okay, so uh, J World is right next to the Mega Tokyo Pokemon Center, so expect a video with those two uh, together uh, very soon. They're on my list, and One Piece Tokyo Tower. Sadly, I missed it last trip, so I'm desperate to go back. So, yep, that's definitely on my list. And near Tokyo Tower is a really nice Buddhist shrine, so hopefully, I'll get those two in the same video as well. So, yeah, thanks for your comment. Tactical Enforcer HD says, please visit a sushi bar. Uh, yes, it is on my list. I definitely will try and get a couple in this trip. Um, so yeah, expect that in up and coming videos. Right guys, that is it for today. Um, tomorrow I have a lot planned, a lot of work and a uh, date night in the evening as well. So I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I don't think there's going to be a long vid, but I will try and get in some of those questions that I missed or uh, didn't have time to fit in. Uh, so don't get disheartened if I haven't read your comments yet. Um, it's very likely I will in future videos. Also, don't be afraid to just spam uh, newer videos with your comments again. I won't look down on you if you do. Uh, it makes it actually easier for me. So yeah, bear that in mind. All right, guys, uh, let me know what you thought of this video. Would you go to Bentendo Shrine? Why wouldn't you? Look at all those awesome animals. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.